Hey guys, it's the Kurg, and I'm bringing you another basic text animation. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a scan line text. Make a new document here. Go ahead and type something. Go ahead and call it what the animation's called. Make that bigger here so you can see it. Alrighty. Basically what this animation does is going to be a line or circle or triangle or whatever shape you want going through your text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a line since it is called scan line. This is just one of the many names I have seen this animation called. Um, I'm not sure if it's exact name but this one sounds the least stupid. So, go ahead and create a new layer. We're going to grab the rectangular marquee tool. Make a line over here. If you want your line starting from the left and going to the right, make it over here. If you want it starting from the right and coming left, go ahead and make it on the right side of your text. Um, make it the size that you want it. Go ahead and right click it go to fill. You want to use color. You have quite a few options here. Go ahead and choose color. Uh, really choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna choose green. Okay, and deselect that. You can put blending options on it. it. Really can be whatever you want. You can add a glow to it, make it kinda more of a glowing line rather than just a flat line. You don't have to though. It's really whatever you want. We'll go ahead and add a glow to it. Make it look a little cool. Um, let's see. You can add whatever you want to it. We'll just go with the glow. Alright, here's our line. Choose that. Here's our line. Now you want to come over to your layers and create clipping mask. You get to that by right clicking on your layer. And now, as you see here, my mouse is now officially broken by the way, so if I'm having issues moving it, which I am right now, that is why. Okay, you see our line disappeared and here it is once I move it over. So go ahead and make sure your line is all the way off over here go down to your animation. You can get to this by clicking window and choosing animation. Duplicate the layer and now using your arrow keys bring your line all the way over to the other side. I use my arrow keys because it keeps it in the same position as when I started so it doesn't move around, it doesn't look weird during the animation because it moved positions. So go ahead bring it all the way over off your text. We're gonna come back down here this is an animation that you kind of want quite a few frames for, so please try not to worry about your file size when you're doing this because if you only do about 10 frames, it doesn't look very good. I can show you right now. It just kind of skips around. Let's go ahead and change the time on this. Select all frames. Since we don't have very many frames for this, we're going to go to 0 0.5 seconds. Go ahead and press start. And see, it just kind of hops around. It doesn't really go in a line. If that's what you're looking for, then that's what you want to do. But that's not what I want. So, come down here. Delete all your middle frames between your first and, s and last frame. That gets rid of the animation. I'm going to change this back to, if my mouse will work, 0 0.2 seconds since I'm going to be adding about 30 frames here. Okay. Go ahead and press play. And as you can see, it's a lot more detailed and it actually looks like it's going through your text rather than just hopping through every half inch or so. It's a real basic animation. You can do it with whatever you want. It's just it's a real simple way to have a line going through your text. It's nothing special, just real simple stuff here. Alright, go to, if my mouse will work, 
<laughs> I'm so sorry about this. I broke it even worse today, so it's even more difficult than usual. Save for web and devices. You want to do this so when you upload it, it will have your animation. You can do once or forever. Um, go ahead and save. Don't mess with the format. Don't change the settings. Just keep change your file name to whatever you want. Just keep the rest the same. Go ahead and cancel. Go to done. Make sure you are also saving as a Photoshop document. If you do not do this, you will not be able to edit it in the future. If you forget to save as a Photoshop document and only save for web and devices, you will only have that image. You will never be able to open this and edit it again. So please make sure you are saving as a Photoshop document. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thanks.